Here we're showing the Blender Game Engine file. So what do you have here, Colin? Oh, this is um, an amazing uh, game made by Martin Kupitis. Okay, Martin Kupitis. 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 And um, the way it works is you've got this gun that shoots reflective spheres, <laughs> and uh, they kind of just keep coming when you, you know, shoot. So uh, I've made it my goal for the past hour and a half to fill up the space <laughs> with as many spheres as possible. And as you can see, it's quite, quite close to being completely filled. Oh, it is actually just me filled. And I enjoy, especially enjoy running through them at a fast pace because it looks pretty beautiful. It does look. But I, uh, I discovered only recently that I could actually go out, you know, back through the walls, um, so I can um, look at the entire thing from the outside and say, oh, this is a problem area. As you can see, there's blank space that needs to be filled with spheres. So I'll just go in here, shoot a few, problem solving, basic problem solving. Well, that's going to be the Blender Game Engine demo. Very thankful for marketing. Here you have Joel downloading a B-Mesh Blender. Why don't you build yourself? You kind of you are uploading or downloading the B Mesh build? Downloading. I thought you were supposed to code the B Mesh and then build B Mesh. Always blaming the Microsoft. Yeah, people learned that from the early days of Linux. I actually no, but you, no, you can cross compile compile on Windows. But you can cross compile on Linux for Windows. But okay. I've never done that before. Oh wow! Well. I thought okay, cool. And here's the banner. Yep. You can do games with the Blender. You can do composite, render, animate, shade, and model. And it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, let's show the cycle demo here. That's actually good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh yeah, it did a cycle builds. So here we have three builds here. That's tomato for tracking, cycles for for GPU rendering, and the other one is the regular one. So now let's open the cycle demo. Let's start with the soccer ring. This is a file from Daniel Salazar from Costa Rica, Zancto on the forums. I think the concept was a drink, energetic drink, and look at this, it's actually not rendering, the render is actually in real time, and if you rotate here, there you go, so, uh, shoot. you can rotate in, in real time, zoom up in real time, and the render is never ever stops, they kind of do at some point, no? You do at some point, no? Yeah. Um, I don't well, know. I really, really, really like this render. <laughs> In my experience, it just keeps going until it's done. Wow. That that's awesome. And it's real, man. Oh, I can't really see the wireframe mode here. You can leave it overnight and still find pixels yeah. popping in. It's actually a quite simple model. I think the beauty of this file is the the materials as well. Yeah. It's really well done. I was looking at those. Great work. You know. All it is is like one material with you know, a texture mapped node to. Um... Yeah. Here's a really classic BMW demo from Mike Pan. The, the, I think the Blender Foundation was using this already for the FMX demo in Germany. So again, we are just rotating the camera, and in real time, we have the, the render being cleaned. It's pretty cool. Mike's over there, actually. Doing another demo, we go there very soon. And we have the architecture one. Can we show this one? Of course, just can't release the file, that's true. This is from the artist Michael Williamson. Fantastic artist. Check that out. Three, two, one, go. So it's a more as a fantasy architecture render. He's posting part of his progress on the Blender artist forums. And when you take the camera out and then you load up the image and go back, I'm kidding. See so you loading the render. Take some time as you can see to first to 
to push all the data to push all the data into the graphic card. But once the data is in the graphic card, ah, this, this is actually the bug we had before. Shoo. Yeah, we had this before as well. If you render now, it's gonna crash. Let's try again. Or, yeah, well, let's again. The cycles files might be worth so, yeah, saving cycle. with the renderer on. Maybe. The thing is, cycles is too exper experimental. So, well, see, graphic thing is all about cutting edge technology. So, see, it broke a blender. One day. Ah, uh, how disappointing. Let's try. We have it on the other computer. Yeah, it's working over there. I hope it works, but I really, really don't feel like editing any movie. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, let leave this it. Was the leave it loading. In the meantime, let's take a look here. Here's Tom Rosendahl, demoing yeah. or his yeah. buddy. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Nathan. 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 For everyone, right? Today was the day yeah. to watch TV, yeah. right? So all time. Uh, Ian. Hello. The Hi. mango director. Hello. How are you feeling? Calling. Oh, yes. Good old fashioned Sintel director. Still. <laughs> so yeah, what is this? Yes. Yes, oh, that is the Seagraph demo reel. Yeah, I'm doing no, no, this is part of the. This is just the. Uh, yeah, yeah, the demo reel. This is rendered with Octan. This is actually Octan. It's fantastic. Let's see, Mike, we have the other fives here. So, cycles. Oh, that's what Mike was doing here before. He's pretty much duplicate. He took the basic BMW scene and made a Blender logo out of this. That's <laughs> so awesome. Again? Wow. Check it out. Yeah, that's Blender. Can you believe that? <laughs> Whenever that happens, I just <laughs> I get very annoyed. <laughs> Check it out. Time to like start it. eating them. Mike, who is the artist on this project? Let me tell you. Eric Johnson. Oh, Eric, Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson. Fantastic work. Fantastic work. Uh, let's see again. Load it, lad. There we go. So that's the demo file we're talking about. Yeah, loaded finally. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's. This one is the good one. We just we have the file here. Demo animation cycles. Oh, we have more. Well, so first the render here. Gooby, gooby. There you go. So that was rendering. I don't know. <laughs> Matter of minutes, it's really cool, really, really fast, really a lot of definition. Task work from Michael, Michael Williams. Now the other file. We also also have a open here, the Blenderella. Blenderella, it's part of the work from Angela Guinette. Angela, that model. Did model of Sintel. So here, put that. So this is part of the modeling tutorial DVD, and it's pretty nice. So that's part of the. Well, it's trying to move with one hand. Doesn't work. What else do we have here? We also have the blended L topology. So here you can actually see how the topology was made, all the edge loops. That's actually really, really, really impressive. Really good work, Angela. Any other file you haven't showed? Cycles Mandela. Oh, we have the tracking ones. Let's open it. It's getting big, let's just. So the idea of the Blender booth is that people can come in and pretty much see the video going over there, find something interesting, come to the booth and play with these computers.
that has a few production files that all the Sintel uh, DVD dumped into into here. They have the Tubi project as well. The one that Passan Kurtal is directing now. And for example, we have here in one of the branches, the tracking branch, we have the files from Sebastian Koenigan, if I'm not mistaken. So, tracking table demo. So, here's the sample file, exactly a video. Many, maybe some of the Blender users have been seeing this already on his online videos. So, we have the table, we have the table after the tracking. So, what you see here are the vertices being tracked. And with that, then Sebastian actually created a virtual table on top of this and with a virtual here, a virtual 3D object. I'm gonna move this around. The table can't really move, otherwise, we don't have uh, shadows. So what is this? There you go. So this part, this is part of the work of on top of Sergey branch on tracking. Uh, it's rendering there. I think you run out of nice things to show. Oh, it's rendering. Come back soon. And here, oh, it's not here. And later tomorrow, we're gonna be showing uh, Nathan Litwater is going to be showing the 3D connection devices with Blender and a tablet. Today you're still setting up things together. Not sure they're going to let me record it here. Let's try. There you go. And here is our neighbor selling 3D mouses. Ah, we have a Space Pilot, Space Pilot Pro, Space Explorer, Space Navigator. It's actually cool. I've been using one of these during these weeks. So they're gonna have a few demos to show us with Blender. People are quite excited. Here, Rainmaker, the big studio in Vancouver. Isn't that right? And I think that's all. I'm not gonna walk through Seagraph. Well, there we have the Chinese booth. We have someone over there. People that, that are doing, that are converting uh, Titanic from 2D to 3D. But as you can see, Tomorrow is the big day, today still people are warming up. And that was Elephant Rims. And there we go. So, ah, the glass and the. Here it looks nicer than the compost on top of the table. It's not in Blender yet, but it's gonna be the next version of Blender and in Mango. That's all. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Yes, we can say something as a close.